This video will be brief, because the topic it's talking about is rather small. But what I want to discuss is the most controversial change Z made in the recent update. That change being removing Mahito's entire First Awakening. It's been the most talked about change in this update by far, and whether you scroll through the Discord or the JJS Reddit that actually exists, you'll see a lot of people talking about it, either flaming Z for removing it and calling it a terrible decision, which seems to be the majority opinion, or defending the choice. I won't be picking either side of this video, and honestly, there doesn't seem to be much point in that, since Z seems to have made up his mind to add it back in. But I do want to at least talk about it, because it's a very interesting decision that has reasons to hate it, and reasons to support it. So, let's talk. First, let's talk positives, and to an extent, negatives, with Mahito's First Awakening. By removing Mahito's First Awakening, he does get simplified a bit. For JJS players who are usually kind of young and can't wrap their head around unique or difficult conditionals, like landing two Idle Transfiguration Black Flashes, they never get to use Instant Spirit Body of the Sword Killing. It's not something nearly as simple as Mahuraga, where you can just use it on some random guy engaged in a 1v1 from behind a building in a public server to get the Awakening. You have to actively work really hard for it, time your Black Flashes, which while easy if you know the method, can be hard if you're a noob, a demographic that makes up most of the JJS players, and you have to be able to land Idle Transfiguration two of them at that, in the short time that you're awakened. The bottom line is that most JJS players would never, ever get to use Mahito's Super Awakening. That alone wouldn't be a reason to remove Mahito's Awakening though, and now we're going to talk negatives on Mahito's First Awakening. First and foremost, it was super gimmicky, limited, and really did not feel like an Awakening. What I mean by that is that while other Awakenings like Gojo, Sukuna, and Hikari can basically boss raid whole servers, nuke the whole map, and do insane amounts of damage, making the user feel unstoppable, Mahito really required a lot of planning. Also do notice how I'm not saying Megami here, because his awakening is also a bit detached from others, but even with his awakening, he had stuff like Great Serpent that absolutely let people feel like they were unstoppable, and hit massive groups of people to then combo them for huge damage, making you feel like you were actually powerful. Mahito didn't get to feel unstoppable, unless he was in a 1v1, where the complete BS that was Force Grab was allowed to shine because Idle Transfiguration was single target, and also really easy to interrupt if Mahito was getting jumped, Drill Spitter was just always kind of underwhelming, and Force Grab was also a move kind of designed around 1v1s that could be stopped by attacking the user if friends are around to help. You did have the main expansion, but at the end of the day, so do other ults, and it's a one-time use move so that doesn't really compensate for the rest of his ult feeling weird. The bottom line of all of this is that Mahito's first awakening really didn't feel like an awakening if you were to use it in public servers. It felt more like a really gimmicky and OP-based character, rather than an unstoppable mode where you could pummel people to death. It was unique for sure, but that uniqueness held it back a lot from just being an awakening in public servers, and if you're the average JJS player, you probably wouldn't be having fun with Mahito's awakening because you can't just press buttons and win, like all other awakenings except Megami, but actually have to work with a moveset that needs to be carefully used, with the exception of Force Grab. Weigh all of that on a scale, and you can sort of see the justification for removing Mahito's awakening. It was too gimmicky, didn't feel like an awakening, it was too small scale to have the same feeling that most awakenings had in public servers. Me saying that doesn't make it a good decision though, and I do personally think that adding Mahito's awakening back, albeit with some tweaks, would be better than straight up removing the awakening. Part of that has to do with his super awakening just being kind of underwhelming. It certainly fits the feeling of awakening, with all the moves being cool and making you feel like an unstoppable killing machine, but it also doesn't have the uniqueness of the first awakening. It also gets rid of Idle Transfiguration, which was Mahito's whole thing, and for some people, landing that conditional was satisfying. For others, the First Awakening was just fun. So, as a whole, it'd be better to just add the First Awakening back with some tweaks, since a lot of community liked it and found it unique. Now, as for some of these tweaks, I have some ideas, though mostly I think community suggestions could do a better job than I could. First thing is that it might be good to add Head Splitter back as a variant on Joe Splitter, and also maybe think about ways to rework Drill Splitter. And yes, it is a bit hypocritical from the guy who hated Head Splitter, but removing it completely was an overstep. It was a fun move for people, even if it wasn't practical, and there probably are niche cases where it could actually be useful for the competitive side of JJS. So, by adding it as a variant, with some other tweaks, whether that be an aerial variant, or if you press R during the Drill Splitter startup, Head Splitter can come back and help make Mahito's Awakening a bit cooler. Z might also want to change Joe Splitter a bit, so that it's less underwhelming, because that's really how the move feels. It is cool, but it lacks a lot of the grandiosity of most Awakening moves, and it is really basic. 
Changing the hitbox so that it drags people in the path of the startup too would make it less of a hassle to hit so that people can hit it more easily and feel like it's an awakening. Idle Transfiguration could also be changed a bit to be less 1v1 focused, and a suggestion of mine could be a terrible idea, so I do want the comments to tell me if they agree or not, but maybe base Idle Transfiguration could be changed a bit to be more like overwhelming luck, so that Mahito can tag multiple people at once. That way, if Mahito is getting jumped, base Idle Transfiguration can actually do something rather than being useless when he can't mark someone twice. Anyways, that's all I have to say on the Magito situation. Z seemed to have already made up his mind, but I do want to add my opinions here, because there is quite a bit to be said. Let me know your own thoughts on the update, and if it was a good call or not to remove Magito's first awakening. I'm Paternally, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.